everyone, welcome to the MB Rundown where we are here to give you the best news of the week. The Senate Economic Affairs Committee revealed that according to the Best Countries 2018 report, the Philippines is the best country to invest in. The ranking was based on the perceptions of more than 6,000 business decision makers based on various attributes such as favorable tax environment, economic stability, skilled labor force, and technological expertise among others. So congratulations to us! Heads up to Metro Manila motorists because the MMDA already gave a go signal for the rail adjustment works of the MRT3 starting this month. And this month-long project will take place along EDSA northbound around Tramo, Pasay City. The rail adjustment is in preparation for the additional coaches for the MRT3 and to increase its capacity. So expect traffic buildup in EDSA Tramo area for the whole month of March. The government's jeepney modernization program is officially rolling out. The LTFRB revealed that the first batch of modern jeepneys is expected to roll out by the end of March. The modern jeepneys will have developmental routes from Quezon City to Antipolo, Taguig City, Manila, and Bulacan. Meanwhile, the fares of the modern jeeps will depend on the jeepney applicant's proposal, which will then be evaluated and approved by the board. While the rest of us are collecting Pokemons, Filipino-American songwriter Robert Lopez adds another Oscar statue in his collection and is one Emmy Award shy from making a triple EGOT, which stands for Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Awards. Lopez made the Pinoy brand of artistry felt during the awards night when he won his second best original song for Remember Me from the Disney Pixar movie Coco. Lopez, along with his wife and fellow songwriter Kirsten Adderson Lopez, who also co-wrote the Academy Award-winning and popular song Let It Go from the movie Frozen. Talk about a power couple! Another proud moment for Pinoy's during the Oscars is when 1962 Best Supporting Actress Rita Moreno wore the same gown she wore when she won an Oscar. Interestingly, the said gown was actually a creation of the late fashion czar of Asia, Pitoy Moreno. The 86-year-old Moreno attended this year's Academy Awards to present the award for the Best Foreign Language Film. The two Morenos met back in 1952 while she was filming Cry of Battle in the country and where she learned about her Oscar nomination. And that's it for this week's edition of the MB Rundown. I'm Nicole Cordovez. Have a great week ahead of you.